I want to start my SQL from the command prompt. So I click on start, run, command, and let me move this down. There we go. And I'm going to key in the command to my SQL. It will not work. My SQL. It's not, it's unintelligible. Wow. Let's close this up. And let's fix this. I go to my H drive and I click on X for XAMP. And I go to M for MySQL. There it is. Bin. And now I go looking for this guy, MySQL.exe. He's here. Now I click on the address, copy that, Control C, or Right click, copy. Both are good. Now let's minimize this. And let's go to my computer. Right click, properties. Go over to advanced. Scooch on down to environmental variables. And I'm going to. Click down here till I get to path. There's path. Edit. Now, I go to the end of this list, put in a semicolon, and paste in control V, or if you're addicted to the mouse, paste. So now it says, that. Let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger for you. There we go. Now it says H exam MySQL bin on the very end. Prefixed by a semicolon. So I click on OK. And that should allow me to execute MySQL now from the command prompt. Click on OK. Let me close this out. And now I click on Start. Run. Command. And now I'm here. I can key in my seagull. And ta da! It starts right up. And now I have my MySQL prompt. And that's how you do it. <clears throat> of course, if I were going to actually go into this, and I will. A little bit later on, I'd get in a different way. My SQL and dash U space root dash P, like that. All right, well, that's for later. Uh, let me exit out of here. And I'm back to my C prompt. Like so. And that's how you do it. Thanks so much for listening. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.